Hey, hi, hi, hi. How are you? How are you? <laughs> okay, so when last we talked, I was talking about that summer where I was living in Florida and working as a waitress and kind of close with my cousin, saw him quite regularly. Um, he had, if you recall from the last video, he had hooked me up with a friend of his and I was staying at her house and she was working with me as a waitress. So that was sort of my life. I worked, sometimes I worked nights and sometimes I worked days, just depended when they needed me. But mostly I worked the like 3 to 11 shift, 4 to 12 shift, something like that. So I had the daytime to go to the beach, hang out with friends, get do fun stuff. And that's what I was doing this one day. Um, my cousin Tommy had introduced me to this girl and she said, oh, Tommy, I'll take her to the, the see the flamingos at the, I think I went to the zoo. But I'm not real sure because the zoo has a nice flamingo arrangement there. But there's also a special flamingo garden. So I'm not sure which one I went to. I, I went online and looked, but I, my brain, you know, the fog, the fog. <laughs> anyway, it's not important. What's important are the flamingos. That's really what's important. So she took me and we're walking around. And, you know, you go to a regular zoo in a place where you live and you see a lot of things that, you know, everybody sees at the zoo. You see the rhinos, you see the monkey house, you know, whatever. But this was different because it was Florida. So there was more exotic animals that they couldn't house in the Bronx Zoo and, or the Philadelphia Zoo. There was animals that like liked warm weather and you saw a really unique kind of, um, a different kind of an, a monkey. You just saw it, you know, all. So I was like, I was like a little kid going on a school trip, going to the zoo with her friend, you know. <laughs> Such a goober. Anyhow, <laughs> I um, I really, really was having a good time. And she bumped into a couple of friends of hers that she knew. And apparently one of the guys she used to date, and uh, it was a former boyfriend. And uh, so I start chit-chatting and like, you know, I'm like interested in this and that and the other thing. And then I looked over at the guy as I'm looking at them too, and he's looking at me. Okay, now girls out there, you know what's going on. He's looking, she's looking at him and he's looking at me. Okay, enough said, okay, explanation, you apply the rest yourself. So I'm like, oh my gosh, and his eyes, I gotta tell you about his eyes. He had eyes like that actress, Elizabeth Taylor, with had some purple, like literally in in the in the pigment color there was like splashes of purple and they were all even it wasn't like sometimes you see people with two different color eyes it wasn't like that there were splashes of like lavender purple in his eye like Elizabeth Taylor's eyes are like that she has the beautiful eyes and if you don't know who Elizabeth Taylor is point of reference the very very famous movie Cleopatra with Richard Burton very famous she made a lot of other movies but just point of reference and her eyes were just amazing they just drew you in and that was what was happening when when Chris looked at me and I looked at him click click the gears clicked Click, 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 click. And it wasn't love at first sight because, I, you know, that's a deeper thing. But there was definitely attraction and there was whew, like locked in. Like all of a sudden his eyes were locked on mine. And then he started trying to walk with me as we're walking through the path. And she's trying to talk to him. And, you know, we had, there was other people with us, some of his friends. And so they were trying to talk to her. It's one of those weird group things, like kind of almost high schoolish, you know. And it, it was okay. We were walking and enjoying the the beautiful flowers down there. When after it rains, if you've never been to Florida, after like a summer rain shower, the flowers open up. And there's a flower. I believe it's jasmine. When it opens up after a rain. Oh my gosh, it's so thick, but it's so beautiful. I and mean, if you don't like that smell, whatever, but I'm telling you what, it filled the air. It was just, it just was, oh gosh, I wish I could smell that smell. It, it only happens after the rain, It just kind of, and then it kind of, you know, simmers down, but it's like, pow, right in your nose. And the wind was just soft. This like remind me of that summer uh, song um, by Loggins and Messina called Sub Summer Breeze. Oh, summer Breeze. You know, it was like that. It was just really nice. 
And so she started getting an attitude like with me. She's like, okay, you got to go to work. I got to go to work tonight. Let's go. And it was way early. It was like only 2.30. I didn't have to be to work till 5. Like, what is your deal? You know, like, but I, I know what her deal was. Her deal was she, she saw us connecting and she figured if she couldn't have him, let's go. You know what I mean? And I was like, okay, you know, I drove with her, whatever, whatever, you know. And then he jumps in and says, hey, 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 I'll give her a ride home. And his friend said, yeah, 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 we'll give her a ride. Let's just finish walking. Because we hadn't gotten to the full beautiful part where the big flamingo habitat was. We saw some of the beginning parts of it, you know, like in, in the wetland area where they were, the little pond. But we hadn't gotten to the full open panoramic view yet. And I'm like, you know what? This is what we came for. I want to see the flamingos. Dude, we don't have flamingos in New Jersey. Come on. <laughs> Plus, I was liking the flirtation. Nope. I'm going to own it. Sorry. The eyes were to die for. And then he had jet black, curly, wavy hair. Uh, and I'm making a face, but I'm like, I'm making a face because he was just too cute. Okay. He was just too cute. But, and you know what? When a cute guy flirts with you, oh, validation. Woo! Who am I? Whoa! <laughs> Anyhow, okay, so I want you guys to get that picture. <laughs> I'm such a goober. I still remember all of it. And so she says, well, I'm leaving. And, and she took off. She left me. And I, I was like, okay, well, he'll give me a ride. He knows everybody. And everybody knew Tommy, my cousin, and everything. I was like, well, I'm, in, you know, I'm all right. So, you know, he leans in and he tries to give me a kiss. You know, he's, he's a, um, he's kind of a Don Juan too, you know, but I, I was like, yeah, I like you. I want to flirt with you, but you know, we're not kissing, you know, <laughs> but we got to the flamingos and you know, that, that salmon color mixed with the fuchsia and, and then their, their way their necks go. It just, it's so entrancing. It's like, wow, look at that. I mean, I was lost. I love birds. I don't know if, uh, if any of you know that, but I love birds. My nickname, my email is Pure Bird because I love birds so much. And so, you know, I, I thought about the birds and then here's this gorgeous guy. You know, they say there's an appointment in time and this was beautiful. The setting, the smell of the jasmine in the air from the rain. Okay, I'm tan. He's tan. His friends are fun and, you know, lovable and, you know, just carousing around, having fun. And then after the flamingos, he had to go to work that night, too. He worked somewhere else in another restaurant. It's like we were all restaurant people, you know. And so I, I just I just say goodbye to him. And then I saw him a few more times after that. Of course, we dated. Of course, we dated. Right. But it was the end of the summer. I think I met him. And then two weeks later, I had to leave. But he stayed in touch with me. And I'll go into that more on the next video. All right, guys. And then there was this guy. This one's the special one because he changed my life. And more on that later.